Hi guys! First of all, I just wanted to say thank you so much for all of your support on the recent videos. It's really inspired me to start making new videos. This video is I turn famous brand logos into slime. I also made some famous items just because I thought it linked in well. But first up, we're going to be making Instagram. Now, this is a really hard one to make. My main issue when planning this whole video was that slime moves around a lot. So when you put it in one place, it can be the perfect placing, but then it moves. So the way I got around that was just by using a really thick clear slime. And this worked so well in keeping that rounded shape of the square. Square. And then for the colouring, I just went and added some pigment and I actually used this in a previous video And when I added it in I remember thinking this looks like the Instagram sign and then you guys all thought the same So I decided to make this video off the back of that which inspired me and then for the white parts I just added dope slimes polymer clay because this doesn't dry out as quickly as other clay So I find it way easier to shape with it, but this is what it ended up looking like and I was really proud of it Next up we have the Starbucks logo and this took me so long to make. I actually mixed this colour by hand and it was so so hard. It actually dyed my hands. If you look at the other side of my hands when I show it, they're all dyed green. So to create a barrier between my hands and the clay to stop it from dyeing any further, I just put some clear slime on. My mistake was that I immediately started putting my clay sculptures on top because this took me so long to make. And to put it into perspective, the white bits took me eight hours to sculpt by hand. I just did this myself because I thought it would be a lot more satisfying that way for me to see the outcome and it definitely was I was really happy with how it all came out but because I was impatient and I put the clear slime on top which I hadn't intas intis ah, int ant ah, anticipated doing I actually ended up having all my clay pieces moving down and like outwards a bit just because you know the slime moved and so all the clay pieces moved with it but it ended up looking okay so I just gathered the excess slime and just put it on top as a topping and this is what I ended up with. I think the most hyped things about Starbucks are always the seasonal drinks. I decided to make a seasonal drink seeing as we're going into like the Christmas sales period. And this is the toffee nut latte. I put extra toffee, so I guess with extra toffee on top. And I decided to start off with some clear slime just for the toffee bit. And then for the actual coffee part, I just made some butter slime. And then for the whipped cream, I was gonna use shaving foam, but that always gets so messy. So I decided to use straight polymer clay. And then for finishing touches, I just added some more toffee. And then for the nut pieces, I dyed some fake snow.
Face Pick was one of the simplest to make, but definitely one of my favorites as well. Just because it was so simple, it ended up looking really good. So I decided to start off with some clay just to create the base shape and just lighten up the slime bit. And then I added some dark blue slime on top. And next to the white slime, it actually looks a lot lighter than it did in real life. And then for the finishing touches, I just added the F sign a bit to the right. Next up we have the love of my life, YouTube. Of course, I was gonna include this in this video. Basically all we did was just create the same thing we did with YouTube, uh, for the YouTube, Facebook, in that we had a clay base, some slime on top, and then a clay sculpture on top of that. Snapchat was actually the first thing I made in this video, which is why this didn't turn out as good as I hoped it would. I actually used a different clay. I wasn't using the polymer clay. I used Daiso, which dries out a lot, lot quicker, but it just had the right colors that I needed for this. So when I mixed it in, it was a lot harder. It did turn out okay. And then I topped off with some clear slime and then I mixed it in. When I was making this video, I really wanted to include a video game, but I wasn't exactly sure of what to do. And then it came to me, I wanted to do Pac-Man. And not only did I want to make the main character in that, I actually wanted to make the whole of the game. So I decided to make a black butter slime as my base, just because the game has a black background. And then for the centerpiece, the actual logo, I decided to make a orange slime in the middle, followed by a red glossy slime just to outline that. And then the Pac-Man piece is actually white, but I colored them in with Sharpie, just because I couldn't find a way to kind of get the black accents in without ruining my original sculpture. And then for the final sculptures, I just added in the actual Pac-Man, I added in the dots, some cherries, some barriers, and also those like alien ghost things.
Thank you so much for watching my videos. I really hope that you've enjoyed this one and I'm really so, so grateful that you guys have been enjoying my recent uploads. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you next week.